Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a Hidden Gems. Wednesday at nine o'clock is a Hidden Gems. What is a Hidden Gems? The idea is very simple. I, uh, I talk to you about a trick that's been out for a very long time. It could be a physical product. It could be uh, something that might have been on a lecture, an online lecture. It could have been on a Penguin Live, a masterclass, uh, an At The Table, an Alakazam Academy. The list goes on and on and on. It could be something that's out of book. It could be something that's in a magazine. What I do is I bring it to your attention. And I've talked about this on, on the channel before. I'm not going to labour the point, but... Uh, the thing is, these days, there are so many new tricks that are coming out literally every single day that we race to buy that latest trick, thinking that the latest and greatest trick is going to be the trick that's going to blow our audiences away. Whilst in reality, we stand on the shoulders of giants and some of the best tricks that have ever been created were released 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And the problem is new people that come into magic, if you're brand new into magic in the last six months, you don't know the trick that came out five years ago that nobody talks about anymore. More. It might have been the biggest trick at the time ever, but nobody talks about it, and so you don't know about it. So the whole point of this uh, this series of videos is to try and bring those classics back. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dying. So with that point in mind, today's hidden gems is going to be on the Virginia City Shuffle. Now, this is a true classic of card magic. This is when you think packet tricks. This is one of the best packet tricks of all time. And uh, I remember first learning this, oh my gosh, it must have been about 15, maybe even 20 years ago, of the Michael Amar Easy to Master Card Magic series. I learned this that long ago. And it is, in many ways, the perfect close-up trick. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But first of all, if you've never seen the Virginia City Shuffle, I'm going to do a full performance of it so you can see it and you can have a look and see exactly what it is. It's a gambling theme uh, type trick. It's a three card trick type presentation, but it's really, really cool. Let's have a look at a performance of it and then I'll talk about why it's so good. And I'm here with Michael. Hello. And I've got a little black wallet, Michael. A little black wallet so that I can tell you a story. Are you sitting comfortably? I am. Then we will begin. Uh, it's a story about when I went to Virginia City uh, in America. Have you been to Virginia City? Not, no. Not a nice place, don't go. <laughs> nah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. But they do have <laughs> some unscrupulous characters there. Uh, and when I was there, once, I say once, I've only been once, but when I was there, I met a guy who was playing this card game on the streets and he was, people were betting money and losing. And I'm like, he doesn't know I'm a master of sleight of hand. He doesn't know that I'm the doctor of prestidigitation. He doesn't know. I'm the man, the myth, the legend, the best there is, the best there was, the best there is. He didn't know any of that. I was like, I can take this guy big. <laughs> that was my evil laugh. I literally sat there looking at him going, <laughs> I was like, I can take it big. So I went over there pretending to be a muggle, acting all stupid. What game are you playing? All oh, those playing cards. What are playing cards? And I thought, I'm going to get this guy. I'm going to get him so good. And he said, well, there's four cards. And he said, the first one is blank. Um, he said, the second one, this one here, is also blank. He said, the third one, it's also blank. But he said, the last one, this one here, is an eight of diamonds. And he said, the idea is, all you have to do is follow the ace of diamonds. I was like, I can do that. He said, if you follow the ace of diamonds and you win, then, then I give you money. If you lose, you give me money. I'm like, I can, I can do this. I said, yes. I'll take the bet. He said, I'll make it easy for you because you obviously have no idea what you're doing. And I thought my disguise is working. He <laughs> said, um, he, he said, I'm going to put one of the blank cards to one side. That way you won't have to worry about that one. I'm like, thank you very much. He said, right. So we've got two blank cards. He said, watch carefully. And he took that ace of diamonds and he put it in between the two blank cards like that. And he said, now I'm going to mix them up. But watch, I'm going to go slowly. And he just took a card, put it to the bottom. He put a card, put it to the bottom. And he put a card, put it to the bottom. He then spread the cards out like this. And he said, where is the ace? I said, it's in the middle. Because I saw what he did. He put them to the bottom, to the bottom, to the bottom. It had to be in the middle. He said, no, there's all blank cards over here. The ace is over here. I've never been so fooled in my life, Michael. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? How can that happen? How can you have, like, the card just, I was like, I didn't see what was happening. So I handed him over the money. And I said, I want another go. He said, OK, now, now this time I was like, maybe I got a bit cocky. This time I'm going to watch more carefully. I saw him put one of the blank cards to one side. I then saw him as he showed me he had two other cards. And I saw him take that ace and put it in between the other two blank cards. I saw that, Michael. I then saw him put what now think about it. It's in the middle. We know it's in the middle, right? Yeah. He then put one card to the bottom, which meant it was on the top. He put another card to the bottom, which means it's on the bottom. He put another card to the bottom, 
which means it's back in the middle. Like, logically, that's the only place it could be. I said, it's in the middle. Don't do any moves. I grabbed his wrists. He did no moves. He literally just turned the cards over and you sure they were all blank and the ace was over there. I was getting so wound up. <laughs> you got no idea. I was like, right, okay, I'm going to double bluff him. Gave him more money. He said, what? I said, one more chance. He said, okay, you know the rules of the game now. And I said, yes, I know the rules of the game. Just get on with it. And he said, look, I'm going to put one of the blank cards over there out the way. I'm like, somehow this ace is going to be that blank card. I don't know how, but I'm not stupid. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. That was my internal monologue the way. I didn't say that. That was being done, but I thought it. He then put the ace in the middle. He put one card to the bottom. I thought maybe he's doing two cards, but he's not. He flicked it. It was one card. He put one card to the bottom. He put one card to the bottom. He spread them out and he said, where is the ace of diamonds? And I thought, this is it. Double bluff time. I've got him. I said, it's on the table. Did another evil laugh. <laughs> It's on the table. And he said, no, that's actually the blank card. I was, I was like, Son of a bitch. And he said, I don't know how you missed this. I mean, to be honest, all the other ones are ace of diamonds. I don't know how you didn't get this. What? There's only one blank card. There's three ace of diamonds. How did you not get this? And at that point, I literally just walked off and I've never played cards like that since. So um, that's my story of what <laughs> happened to me in Virginia City Shuffle. You can check those out. Uh, not Virginia City, in Virginia City. That, that's the Virginia City Shuffle. Shut up. <laughs> there you go, guys. That's the Virginia City Shuffle. Now, let me talk to you about why I love this so much. So, first of all, um, it literally takes up no pocket space. It's one of the reasons I love packet tricks so much. You throw it in your pocket and you're ready to go. Now, the nice thing about these cards is they are totally unexaminable. Uh, totally examinable, sorry. There are no specially printed cards here. Uh, you've got a blank card and you've got three Ace of Diamonds and that's all you need. You can literally make this up by taking three packs of ace, uh, three red back packs of cards or blue back packs of cards and uh, grab some aces out of it, take a blank card and you are good to go. Which means that the trick is completely examinable uh, at the end of the routine. It also means that it's an instant reset. Literally, I just put these cards away and I'm reset ready to go again. So from a practicality point of view, it's great. Now, you need to put a card down on the table at a couple of different points, but it's not like you need a close-up pad or anything like that. In fact, if I'm doing this, a lot of the time, if I've got a glass there and I'm, I'm performing and there's a few glasses, I'll put the card on top of the glass so it's elevated up. Um, outside of that, it's also very easy to do. It's not a difficult routine to do at all. It's just a couple of double lifts, a frustration count, and uh, you know, a couple of uh, various different moves that are relatively easy to do. And, and outside of that, it's just routining. So from a, from a practicality point of view, it's really, really practical. But the thing that really makes this is the story. Uh, I love performing three card tricks. There's so many different versions out there. You know, Color Monty, Simplex Monty. I could go on forever. This is one of my favorites. And the reason is the story is super fun. It's super engaging. People genuinely believe that the story that you're telling is true. And when they invest their time in that way, the whole routine becomes a lot more interesting. And a lot of the time when you're doing stuff like this, where you're kind of exposing, apparently exposing how magic's doing uh, or magic works, uh, it, you're pulling back the curtain on, on the magic world. And, and, and people tend to, you know, really really buy into that a lot more it's a it's a hook that's really really interesting um so yeah i mean if you've never done this before the other thing that's really cool about this is the technique that you learn when you learn this trick can be applied to a lot of other routines as well so there you go it's virginia city shuffle now it is a super super commercial trick um you can you can learn it from a few different places, if you Google Virginia City Shuffle, I believe it's a download. But if you haven't got the Michael Lamar Easy to Master Card Magic series, they, um, you know, they got bought out by L and L years ago. Uh, the, the I remember having them on VHS tape. That's how old they are. Um, and um, uh, Murphy's bought the rights to them. Uh, bought the right. Well, they bought all of the L and L. You know, they bought L and L basically, so they got rights to everything that L and L owned, including uh, the Michael Lamar range. So uh, I believe that they've bought those out as a download. So you can get it as a download from various different sites. You can look into that. But it is one of the most commercial packet tricks that you'll ever learn. 
So there you go, guys. That's another Hidden Gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this, you just got to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Now, I'm going to be back again tomorrow uh, uh, on Thursday at 9 o'clock with another video and probably 6 o'clock with another video as well. But if you haven't already done so, please do me a favor. Go and join The Netrix. It's www.thenetrix.com. If you've ever thought to yourself, wow, Craig put so much content out, how can I support him? Try the Netrix out for a month and see what you think. It's cheaper than you know your average download, and you got access to 200 tricks and growing all of the time. So go check that out. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.